Hi, welcome to Troubadour's videos. Today we're going to check out the Coulons VID NX480 water block for the GTX 480 graphics card. And here it is. This is the VID NX480 from Coulons. Now this is a dedicated water cooling solution for NVIDIA's GTX 480 graphics card. So let's take this water block out of the box and have a closer look at the water block as well as what accessories come with this kit. With the NX480 water block you will receive the following items. Two different thickness thermal pads, pink and grey. A set of LED lights for illuminating the acrylic water jacket on this water block. Some coulants thermal paste. Sufficient mounting hardware for mounting this water block onto your GTX 480 graphics card. And a thermal pad cutting and placement guide. The mirror polished stainless steel cover plate is corrosion resistant and securely held in place by 16 stainless steel screws. There's also a lot of detail on this water block including the Coulant's logo cutout and a neat etched window so you can see the water block's micro channels. This looks even more stunning when you install the optional LEDs in the side of the water jacket. The water block side window is etched with the Tax GTX 480 so there's no confusion on what killer card you have in your system. The 8mm thick acrylic water jacket comes pre-drilled with two holes for optional LED placement. This is a nice addition, especially if you want to add an extreme lighting effect for your system. The side of the water jacket also has a micro etched Coulant's logo. Inlet and outlet connections on the NX480 are drilled and tapped for G quarter threaded accessories. This makes the water block compatible with a majority of the hose barbs and compression fittings available on the market for 10mm and 13mm coolant hoses. This water block also has a pass through feature which allows the PC enthusiast to connect additional NX480s together for SLI, 3 way SLI, and even quad SLI configurations. The NX480's coal plate is manufactured from high density copper and nickel plated for a long lasting corrosion resistant finish. The coal plate's contact surfaces are CNC precision machined to ensure all heat producing components of the GTX 480 graphics card are targeted and adequately cooled. The water block also comes with hardened steel threaded inserts. This is a definite plus and significantly reduces the potential of stripping threads when installing this water block on the GTX 480 graphics card. In order to extract as much heat as possible from the GTX 480 graphics card, the VID NX480 utilizes a high performance 0.5mm microfin design. This design is utilized in two zones on the coal plate, the GPU cooling zone and the voltage regulator cooling zone. Total weight of this water block is 814 grams. Now let's have a look at the coolant flow through this water block. This water block is not flow directional, so connecting to either G quarter threaded port is acceptable. Fresh coolant enters the water block, flows through the GPU cooling zone, then around to the voltage regulator cooling zone, and finally exits the water block. To measure the pressure drop or pressure differential across the water block's inlet and outlet, we're going to be using a Dwyer 490 series digital manometer. This precision instrument is industrial grade and accurate to within plus or minus 0.5%. And to measure the actual flow through the water block, we will be using a Flowcat rotameter. This instrument is custom manufactured, built to order and accurate to plus or minus 2% of full scale flow and 0.5% repeatability. Using these instruments we will be able to identify the flow restriction of the Coulant's VIDNX 480 in single, SLI and three way SLI configurations.
Now let's load up the test bench and compare the GTX 480 stock air cooler against the Coolant's VID NX480 GPU water block. For the thermal loading on this test, we will be using the performance benchmark within EVGA's OC scanner. We will be running this benchmark for a total of 60 minutes. For overclocking and logging the temperatures on this test, we will be using MSI's Afterburner software. Now let's run this test using the GTX 480's Superclock settings for the Win Edition settings, then overclock further to Troubadour's Crank That shit Up setting. Overall, the Coolant's VID NX480 is a phenomenal water block. It possesses outstanding cooling characteristics and low flow restriction, which places this water block on the must have list if you were going to overclock a GTX 480 in single SLI, three way SLI, or crazy insane quad SLI configurations. The detail and finish of this water block is superb, and if you want to customize the look of your water block, you can always install the optional LED lighting. And Coolants have a range of accessory LEDs on their website to suit this water block, so if you don't quite like the look of the standard blue color, you can easily change your LEDs to green, red, UV, or white. The Coolants VIDNX480 is 100% Troubadour approved. Thanks again for watching Troubadour's videos. I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube if you want to stay up to date with the latest and greatest in extreme PC and gaming hardware.